Yeah, viewers at home, this is Ola, and you are watching Rejoice Television. Sit back and relax while we bring the news to you on Have You Heard? I guess you've not heard. And we are here to bring it to your doorstep like never before to enjoy the news, to see all that you long to know about Africa, about all part of the world. We bring to you day in, day out. Have you heard Buhari vows to recover all the billions of nairas and dollars looted out of Nigeria that we should just give him a few months and he will get the old job done? There was a meeting some few days back with the governors of all the states. People have been saying they are yet to see him into action, that he has not been doing anything about the looted money by Jonathan and his counterpart. But now he promised the old Nigerians that soon it's a job now to, re to, to retake all the looted cash that is being taken out of our loved country, that he can sit back and watch all the government workers not being paid. Some states are unable to pay their salaries for eight months. Some were unable to pay for seven months. But Buhari gave a promise yesterday in Abuja that all is yet to come to an end. That soon he's going to pay up the old money because if the old money looted is being recovered, I believe there will be smile on all government workers' faces as they will rejoice back to the bank to get their money. This is their hard-earned money. This is what they've been working for all their life. I wonder how they've been paying the school fee of their children. I wonder how they've been feeding their family and they must get a job. Do you people think about that? How do they even go to work? How do they get gas in their cars? How do they feed their family? How do they feel their loved ones? And if they are the breadwinners, can you imagine they have aged mothers, they have people to give things to, but they were unable to for eight months. I think eight months they were unable to pay the, the government workers. So now I think they reached a conclusion because Buhari said that soon all is going to come to an end, that all the money looted out of the country with the help of with the help of other presidents in other parts of the world, that all the money looted out shall be recovered, shall be restored fully, shall be fully restored. There is a confusion in the states. In Nigeria yesterday, they were saying different things on media network, on Twitter, on television, on telephones, on a BBM, that the only son Jonathan had is dead. But we are here to filter the news this morning that it was never true. All was just a rumor that even Jonathan himself is in Abuja. He's doing fine. He just went for vacation. After he was relieved of his duty, he went to the United States just to have fun and the family and the United Kingdom. I think they are in school, schooling, so I learned everybody say that there's nothing wrong with the child. There were rumors that people were there in the Twake, that they were mourning in the family house, but it was all a lie. There's no iota of truth in it, that the boy is ill and healthy, doing so well in the United Kingdom. So it's fine that we bring it to you, for you to know it is no more a rumor, it is no more, this is what I read or this is what I heard. So we just have to let you know that the boy is ill and healthy. On Boko Haram, I don't know, maybe you've heard, we bring it to you for you to know that Boko Haram went built in the early hours of today, killing over 52 people. They were caught in on, on awareness, they come 12.30 a.m. in the middle of the night, in the dead of the night when people were sleeping, when almost everybody has resumed to their bed. 
all was just all about pandemonium. After they think they were just to go to sleep and wake up the following morning happily. But there was Elta, Skelta everywhere. Boko Haram chased people to death. I learned some people were slit to the, in their throat. They were killed. They loot their shops. Boko Haram loot their homes. They take, every, uh, they take away their goodies and their belongings. But Nigerian president has promised, every, uh, has promised the Nigerians that he is yet to end the power to the insurgency that he is going to stop anything Boko Haram in Nigeria. But we are yet to see that. I think after even the president was sworn in, we have on record that over 250 people has been killed by this by Boko Haram. So we are yet to see the result, the president or the promise, the promise uh, the president give to the people about the change he said he's going to bring to our doorstep. I know he promised that change, that change uh, is coming very soon. People are really expecting the change as quick as in as quick uh, on how quick it is going to be. On Ghana, have you heard they are still here to bring normalcy to everything that is happening in Ghana about the slum of Sodom and Gomorrah? The people living in Dongyon, they refuse to leave the streets because they say the president or the ruling party did not do anything in favor of the masses. That, that, this, that is the only place they have to sleep. They build their little caves beside the dungeon to sleep. They build their little caves beside the slum to have their daily things going on and on. They sleep, they wake up all to run back to their normal businesses the following day. But now the government want to take it all out because there's news all over the world that that is what is causing problem on the flood that takes over 11,000 souls. So now the government of, Gov of Ghana want to put an end to it. But people are on the streets. They said it's not possible that they are never giving into it. But it is rumored that it is the opposition party that is behind it. The MPP that they said they had the soul behind the whole clash right now in Ghana. They barricade everywhere. They are burnt tires everywhere. They are, there is pandemonium between the people and uh, the military. The Ghanaian police and the Ghanaian soldier. But when the soldier, when they move into action, they were able to stop the people a little bit. But soon, they said, everything is going to come into normalcy. The people of Ghana are shouting. They were talking that after the death of the people that die in the flood, that the government promised over 30 million US dollars to help those that were fully involved in the, in, in, in the flood. But after they promised 30 million dollars, what came after it? That no, that they, they promised 30 million to fix the slum. That is what brings about that problem like they've said, and that they are never going to live until all the people that lose their loved ones, that lose their properties, is well compensated. So we urge Ghanaian president to listen to his people, to run to their aid, to do all he could do to help the masses, to help those that lose their properties, to build houses for them so that they can stay in and they can, so there will be peace again in Ghana. I, I don't know, maybe you've heard that they've recorded another Ebola positive patient again in Syria alone. There is jubilation everywhere some weeks back that they say bye-bye finally to Ebola. But again, Ebola is back. Ebola is back. Two people were confirmed Ebola positive. It is very painful. Our heart goes out to the people of Syria alone. We tell them, we feel for them, we always have them in our prayers, and we wish them uh, the safest route 
for them to tackle Ebola. And they will say bye-bye to Ebola and uh, for Ebola never to come to their doorstep again. Have you heard that in Nairobi, the biggest production clothes market burns to ashes? Everybody tried their best possible. Those that have shops were there to see if they could save anything, but they were unable to lay their hands on the thing. That as they stay, they watch everything burnt into ashes. They were helpless about it. They scamper for help. I think before those people that are meant to put a stop to the fire came, everything has already gotten out of hand. It is so, it's a pity. We are so sorry for them. As the people of Nairobi mourn their shops that they say makes over 1.1 million dollars every month. We wish them happy recovery soon. We wish their government all the best soon. That's all we have for you on the program. Have you heard till I come your way again next time? Bye.